hear me and hear me now. This is Jim, Minister John Zion. America is the most racist country in the world. It's never going to end, black people. Every time I turn on Facebook, um, uh, 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 TikTok, IG, it's always some abuse going to black people that's institutional racism. That means embedded deep racism, either with the police, even with the, 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 the employment, even the government, even the hospitals, even the schools, all the major things, even the, uh, real estate, even, uh, even our jobs, all that's against black people. And we gotta understand, it's never gonna end. It's never gonna end. And it's gonna get worse for your children. Because first we were second class citizens, now with the Latinos, we're third class citizens. And we're gonna catch hell in this country. It's never gonna end. And we stand, stand at a country that kidnapped us, that, that, that raped us, that beat us, that we built this country, so what? It ain't ours, and it's never gonna be ours. What we need to do as black people is start looking back to where we come from. Go back to our land we came from. Now, look, there's no American blood in the world. The only blood you got inside you is African blood. You got African skin. You got African bones. You are African that was kidnapped. And the only refuge you're going to get is go back to where we came from. Because that right now, Africa is a place that is growing. America is a place that's dying, and they're going to die in their racism, because when we leave, then the Latinos and whites are going to be fighting it out. So the fact of the matter, at least look at what you're doing. You got Joe Biden, the worst president, the most racist president of all time. And I can say that because he does think that's so anti-black to destroy us. Look at the black farmers been begging for money for 20 years, begging, begging, begging for money, begging for money, begging for loans. Biden turned them down, just sent all the money to Ukraine, all $100 billion to Ukraine. Look at the, the Latinos coming in from all over the country and Biden is flying them in on planes and they stay in the hotels. He's shipping to different countries to, to increase their population and decrease our population. In this country, the numbers win. No numbers, you win nothing. Look at um, uh, uh, Biden doing from Ukraine. Now they all can come over here and just give them SSI to survive over here. That's our search for money. He, they're getting it for free. But yet when a Haitian comes here, a uh, 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 Jamaican, they chase him out with whips and, and horses and, and chase him through, through the water like slaves. Because that's the administration you voted for. That's when Biden always a racist. Look at Strom Thurmond, who's the most racist man in America. That was Biden's mentor. So we need to get out of here. You need to take your children to a trip to Africa. You need to go to Africa and just see how this Africa is growing. We could grow there, but we're never going to grow in America. It's a pit hole. 50% of the population in prison are black men, but we're only 6% of the population. That should be enough to tell you they're building more and more prisons for your children, for free labor. That's a, we need to get out of here. There's nothing else we can do here. We're done. America's done with us. We should be done with them. Go look into Africa. Go look into Jamaica. Any black cl- Shalom. Call Layla Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rukal Kadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh in the name of His Son. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work. In truth and sincerity. Risking their lives and freedom to do so. Pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. <coughs> and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles and great millstone. <coughs> Coming back at you with another lesson. Jake, you're not born again. So listen to this video. It just vexed me. The entire time. It vexed my spirit to be more specific. First of all, we're not black. Neither are we African. Neither are we Afro-American. And where will we flee to? Pursuant to Job 9 and 24. We, where will we go? So the Bible says we have no continuing city. We are strangers here. So you're looking to a system that sees you as three-fifths of a man. So how are you going to be elevated in a system that's built on you being a servant here? <coughs> Many Jakes are on an extremely low vibration. Your vibes are off. That's why we want you to stay away from.
from us. Stay away from us. Now, this word is going out probably about five or 6,000 videos per day. <clears throat> per day. But the fact of the matter is, the Most High has blinded those that he does not want. <clears throat> Let's go into it. First of all, keep talking about go to Africa. What is your black ass going to do in Africa? I've been to Africa. Yeah, you have Israelites there, but you also have a large native population there. Descendants of Ham. They sold you into this condition under the spirit of the Most High on the left-hand side. Who gave Jacob to a spoil and to the robbers? Let's go here. <clears throat> I'm talking about go to Africa. Bugged out. Bugged out. <laughs> Jeremiah 15. <clears throat> See, the Lord did this. <clears throat> Jeremiah 15. Let's go to verse 3. Let's go to 2. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, Such as are for death to the death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. <clears throat> so there's been a breach of trust. There's been a compromise on the agreement with the Most High, a breach of contract with the nation of Israel. And I will appoint over them for kind, saith the Lord, the sword to slay and the dogs to tear and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. And I will cause them to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. And when we read the full story, northern kingdom and southern kingdom would eventually be scattered and dispersed. For who shall have pity upon thee? We're going to go to Africa or the Middle East. Maybe we'll just go to Europe or Jamaica or Haiti. This man does not have a clue, really should have a muzzle across his mouth. Let's read this again. <clears throat> For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? So all nations came against us, O man Willie. You need to be focus on what the most high requires not looking towards man <clears throat> like Joe Biden what can he do for you or us you tell me so you're looking for help where there is no help no safety void of light void of understanding Let's go to Deuteronomy 32, verse 26. Let's go up to 25. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young men and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hair. So <laughs> our elders were taken down and brought low. <clears throat> the princes were hung by their hands and necks. So who are you to challenge 
what the Most High has already ordained. Broken contract, the sword, famine, pestilence, slavery. <clears throat> so most of Jakes don't study the Bible. They love to just tap dance and play the drums or beat the drums and play the tambourine. That's it. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young men and the virgin, a suckling also with the man of gray hairs. I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. So we were cut off from the covenant, from our heritage. Deuteronomy 32, verse 27. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, Our hand is high, and the Lord have not done all this. So this thing here, the Lord is going to show the nations, including Israel, that it was by his hand, his arm, that brought us low. And by his arm shall we be lifted up. Not by man. Not by Joe Biden. Not by the tap dancer or the shaved bald head. And the baby face. So our help is in the Lord. That's the true power on, on the earth. <clears throat> Man can't give us a spiritual cleansing or strengthening. Let's go to verse 28. For they are a nation void of counsel. Neither is there any understanding in them. Say what? They are a nation void of counsel. Neither is there any understanding in them. Imagine trying to have a conversation with this man. Calling us black. Afro-American. Flee to Africa. You must be out of your damn mind. Reminds me of the barbershop scene on Coming to America. Deuteronomy 32, verse 28. For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. Or that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. So yes, we fell back then and were scattered but now we're going to see the full culmination of catastrophic events jacob's trouble the bible is cycling itself back around to these rebellious souls that are void of light see let's go to numbers one Got to go up. Numbers 1. Let's go to verse 1. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Hakaliah. And it came to pass in the month of Chislo, in the 20th year, as I was in Shushan, the palace, that Hananiah, one of my brethren came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. So the Lord's sanctuary was trodden down, and his people 
were brought low and dispersed. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven and said, I beseech thee, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and terrible power that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments, so that mercy is to the residue of his people, the remnant. <laughs> that should be in this chapter. Let's keep going. <clears throat> that come back to his word. His word is comprised of laws, statutes, and commandments, and prophecy. Let's go to verse 6. <clears throat> Let thine ear now be attentive and thine eyes open that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now day and night for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee. Both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dwelt very corruptly against thee and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which thou commandest thy servant Moses. <clears throat> All goes back to the contract, a breach of trust. So we could not keep the law written in stone. But under the new covenant, it's going to be written in our heart, which comes from the Hebrew lop, our mind. So we're going to be made perfect once we enter into the new covenant. Right now, we're under a transitory grace period to repent, penitence, make supplication, literally begging for mercy to be invited back in to the contract. Go oh, here. <clears throat> Nehemiah 1, verse 8. Remember, I beseech thee the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. Nehemiah 1, verse 9. But if ye turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, though they were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. So the Lord has everlasting mercy. And he cannot go back on his word, which he promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But our part is to acknowledge our offense and come back to him through humility, repentance, and being washed by a holy word. <laughs> Let's go to Jeremiah 5, verse 31. So a lot of these men are under pastors that are not teaching the full gospel. These men are delusional. They're falling back on false hopes, false promises. They still believe God loves everybody. Yet the Israelite man is at the bottom. Show me your Fortune 500 companies. Show me your gold vaults. Show me an Israelite man's face on the U.S. currency or petrodollar. Show me. Who's making the laws that we follow? Not the Israelites. <coughs> 
Jeremiah 5, verse 31. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? So we're approaching the ultimate end, the end of the world. <clears throat> which is the closing out of the chapter of the old age and ushering in a new chapter in life under Jacob, the promises, the kingdom of heaven. See, let's go here. We'll close out <clears throat> Habakkuk 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. <coughs> the prophecies are speaking. We're in the year of anticipating the fulfillment of all prophecies to come pass, come to pass. I think that's Luke 17. Let's go here. <coughs> Not much voice left. Lord, help me. Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Let's go here. Damn it, what was that? Luke 17 and 21. Or the 22. See, the second coming foretold. So our help is in the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Luke 17, verse 22. And he said unto the, let's go to the, let's speak. Yahweh Shai speaking. <clears throat> These men are back today teaching and hastily or hastening a return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Luke 17, <clears throat> Luke 17, verse 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Every man should be pushing the ministry in some capacity in some shape, form, or fashion. Not just being an observer or a sidelinder. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So the kingdom starts with the spirit of truth that's resonant in the Lord's elect, his temple, which means light work is coming out of that temple. And it's being built through edification, which means to build. It's not stagnant. Let's get this one. Luke 17, verse 22. And he said unto the disciples, the days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, yet ye shall not see it. So that's come and gone. So now we know that the prophecies are speaking loud and clear. The vision that's for an appointed time. So we're in that time. How do we know that? Because the sea hip is at the forefront now. Or the M to the O to the T to the B. <clears throat> That's how we know. Let's go back to this. Habakkuk 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak 
and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Let's look up time. <clears throat> Visions, prophecies. Excuse me, Salakia. Right here. Appointed time comes from the Greek. <clears throat> Strong's H, 4150. Moed. Moed. Sign. Season. Implication. What else we got? Right here. Appointed place, time, or season. Let's get more on that and close out. See? Age. What? Age. Age is... Time. Is time. So this is the season of... The final age of Esau, Edom, under a revised empire of Rome. More or less definite portion of time in history characterized by events or circumstances. And in this case, prophetic events. <clears throat> See, time is age. Or eon. So it's high time to awake out of sleep. Salvation is nearer than when we believe. That's what the Bible says. Hopefully, this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kwakadash, Shalom.